Good morning everybody and welcome back to Welcome Grove Homestead. Today is a really special day for me. I get to milk my goats for the first time this year. Uh, we separated the babies last night and I finally get to milk my goats. Uh, they have not been milked at all since they freshened. I've got a couple of things I gotta do before I milk them. I gotta feed the puppies. Good morning, little pups. Good morning. Hi, Bendy. Hi, Hercules. Hi, baby. Good morning. You guys ready for some breakfast? Yeah. Yeah? All right, let's get some breakfast. Before I milk the girls, I gotta get the rabbits fed as well because the longer the milk has to sit in the pail, the less ideal. So I just wanna get everybody fed that's in this barn, get the does milked, and then we can continue with the rest of our morning chores. Both of our rabbit does are pregnant. I'm assuming. They were bred. Haven't had any issues yet. So I'm expecting them both to be pregnant. Both of these mamas have a projected due date of June 24th. So we'll see. Now on to milking. So because these girls have not been milked at all, their udders are a little dirtier than they usually are. So we've gotta be a little more extensive in our cleaning today. Wanna make sure that they're nice and clean. And these ladies were not milked at all while they were uh, being boarded, but Jane is not new to the stand. Now they're on not quite a 12 hour fill. They're kind of more on like a 10 hour fill. So her udder is definitely not full, but I think part of that is because her babies are at an age where she was probably starting to wean them herself. But I'm hoping that us making this demand on her in the morning, she'll start uh, producing for us again. But her udder feels really nice. It's uh, nice and soft, no hard spots, no warm spots. They're all things that you want to look out for when you have dairy animals, making sure that they have nice malleable tissue. Now, Betsy has a history of being able to feed her babies through a fence, so we'll just have to wait and see. It does feel like one side is a little softer than the other. She may have nursed Molly through the fence. The girls also are not in their best condition. They came to us really thin from the borders. Which, I mean, Jane always gets a little thin after having babies. But they were both looking pretty thin and rough. And then they had a really stressful uh, journey going across the states. Yeah, you totally nursed on that side. Um, so I would not expect them to be in, you know, tip top peak con uh, production right now. They're really not doing too bad for their first time back on the stand since last year. Come on. Come on, this way. Come on. All right, so now it's time to go let the little boy goats out. But first, we're gonna let Hercules out. Hercules, come on, puppy. Hi, buddy. All right, come on, let's go. So Bindi is allowed in here because she is trustworthy. She uh, has not 
tried to chase anybody. She'll like occasionally run and they'll run, but she doesn't like chase them. Hi boys. Teddy does not appreciate not being allowed to eat the grain, but sorry, bro. No urinary calculi for you. This door is actually an old chicken coop. I gotta do a little bit of shaving, I think, to make sure that this door will close flush. Because we will use it as a chicken coop once again. But uh, we don't want the goats to have access to it. Because we don't want the goats to eat chicken food. But this is the old chicken door over here that I boarded up. And then we'll put a new chicken door out here away from the baby goats because baby goats can fit through very small openings. But we'll let those four guys eat their grain and then they'll come out into the yard. Oh, Teddy, did you find something to munch? Oh, sweet boy. Oh yeah, we found the sweet spot, huh? <laughs> All right, little goats. Be free. See, you guys are hard to film because you're friendly. And that makes you want to be close to the people. Hi. Hi, Obi. Obi White. Java. You guys are all up in the camera. So the little boys are crying because they're being weaned, so they, they say, we want milk. Sorry, boys. Milk tap is done. Goodness, you cannot escape that pen clean. It's, here's my pants. Baby goats. Jumping up. Wanting attention. Uh, it's funny. All right, so now we're gonna head up. I'm taking water up to the rabbits because naturally, with how full my hands were this morning, I didn't grab their water. So I'm gonna go put water in their bowls. And uh, then that's kind of it for the morning chores. Later today, uh, I have to deworm everybody. Um, I have put our goats on a new herbal dewormer. Uh, Molly's herbals. I've heard a lot of good things about it. We're on day three of Formula One. What a stinking brat. Just reaching through the fence and dragging the whole stand over to get to the feed bucket that you already had your shot at, lady. Oh my gosh. Alright, so that is the conclusion of the morning chores. Now, I need to get some breakfast, get my kids out of bed because they're stinking lazy. <laughs> no, actually, they had a really late night last night. We had a very long day yesterday, so I'll have grace today, but they're supposed to be helping with morning chores. That was the first time milking the goats, and it was kind of nice to have that solitude, relative solitude, brought you guys with me. <laughs> but, so now, breakfast and children. And then we're going to talk about some other projects we got coming up. So now it's evening. The day's cooled off some, and now it's time to go wrangle some goats. I've been doing some uh, herbal deworming for them, and today is day three of their regimen. And we've got the dogs and the goats on it. So I've got um, dosage balls here that have you know, peanut butter in them that make them desirable to dogs. And the rest of this is kind of a sludge. <laughs> it's, a, it's a drench. So I'm actually gonna use my handy dandy baster. <laughs> this is- Goat baster. Yes, it's a goat baster. But it totally works way better than a drenching syringe for this stuff because it actually has garlic in it, but it's got these little chunks that won't go in the syringe. So the baster really helps to get it in their throat. So now it's time to go wrangle some goats. Wrangle, wrangle. Wrangle, wrangle. Hercules. We have Hercules. No, Gideon, you already had yours. Gideon. There you go, little man. He just takes it like a champ. Yep. This is wow, delicious peanut butter ball. Bindi, would you like yours, darling? Yeah, yummy. 
Down it goes. Well, that was easy. All right. The goats are less easy. Let's wrangle some goats. Yep. I believe in you. <laughs> so we're getting some bait to catch the babies and so that we don't have to catch them all the way. Hi, it's Molly. It's a little less stressful that way. Oh, that's a snout. No, you like that one, huh? Betsy is the only one that likes it. She likes it? Yep. Very minimal mess on my hand. <laughs> She's not trying to spit it out. She's like, oh, it's tasty. Jane tolerates it. She doesn't love it, but she, to she doesn't fight me too bad. She's a good girl. She definitely doesn't fight it as much as Betsy, for sure. I don't know, Betsy, Betsy was easier. Well, that job is certainly not for the faint of heart, nor the clean of clothes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm wearing some of the stuff, but you kind of have to expect that, I think, when you're drenching goats, because some of them can be really quite skilled at launching it out with their tongue. But hey, they're all done, so they finished their first course. I am trying out the Molly's Herbal Dewormer, and uh, we'll see how it goes. The dogs like it, because you turn into peanut butter balls and they go all for it. But um, So they have two formulas. You do one formula for three days, uh, in a row and then you do their second formula once a week for the next seven weeks and then Repeat the entire course three days with formula one seven weeks with the other one. So I'm gonna see how that goes. I don't think that uh, Frankie and Pippin will be with us that long. We've already got a new home lined up for them They're gonna get to go be brush goats and be buddies and uh, So they're gonna go to our our dear friends and they're uh they're weaning now, so once they have a pen set up for them, they should be ready to go. So I don't think they're going to be here all that much longer. But poor Teddy has been like surrogate mom now to those four little bucklings. They just follow him around like little puppies. And he's like, well, I guess I'm babysitter now, permanently. <laughs> hey guys, editing Amanda here. I just wanted to let you know that... Uh, this video ends a little abruptly just because I ended up having more footage than I really felt was appropriate for a single video. So I didn't actually sign off that video or really sign into uh, what's going to be the next video now. So we'll probably have another little snippet of one of these. But uh, it's just, it felt like it was a little too much um, to add into one video. So I'm going to sign off here on this one. As always, this is your country nerd with a goat herd saying that you can grow where you're planted. <laughs>